Alex, I think you should calm down. Calm down? Are you telling me to calm down right now? I need answers, Jack. I need them right now. What answers do you want, Alex? Please, can you two stop it? Seriously, stop. Why are you two acting like kids right now? Jack, can I have a word with you outside? I'm not going anywhere. You are coming with me, whether you like it or not. Alex and Jesse need space to talk. So, are you going to tell me what that was about? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Jack and I have known each other for a very long time. We met in college, and were actually in a relationship for a while. What? So is that why Jack moved in here? Why are you only telling me this now? No, both Jack and I didn't know. It was just a coincidence. Coincidence? Really? Do you think I would believe it was just a coincidence? Okay, Alex. I admit that I still have some feelings left for Jack. But I swear, this is all just a coincidence. There's been nothing between me and Jack since he moved in. Since when, Jesse? Since when have you been lying to me about this? I am not lying to you, Alex. I never have. You dare blame me when you are a part of the reason as well? Oh, so now you're blaming me. Is it my fault that your college sweetheart moved here? No, I don't mean that, Alex. I'm saying that you have been neglecting me. All you ever know is work, eat, and sleep in the theater. You don't care about me anymore. What? Alex, I think we both want different things at the moment. Tell you what. I interviewed for a job opening at an upcoming gallery, and I got it. I love this job. Do you get it? What are you trying to say, Jesse? What I am trying to say is that I want to stay here. Can you not go to Japan and stay here with me, Alex? What kind of question is that? Answer me, Alex. Can you do that? It is very important to me. I have already accepted the job offer. Did you accept it without telling me? Why did you do that? And did you ask me about auditioning for Japan? Can you please stay here with me, Alex? I, I, I can't, Jesse. This is a really big step in my career. I can't miss it. You see, Alex? I was right. There is nothing more important to you than your career. I always know it. Now that no one is here, can I ask you something, Anne? What is it, Jack? Are you still mad at me? Not really. It's hard to forget you just like that, but I am trying. If you had come into my life at a different time, before Jesse, maybe then we could have had a chance of being together. You really are an amazing woman. Thanks, Jack. I am truly happy for you and Jesse. After so much time apart, you two are finally going to get each other back. I hope you two will have a happy ending. Oh, I'm not getting ahead of myself. This is only the start. Jesse just broke up with Alex, and we are both still very unsure. It's okay. 
just keep it natural. If Alice were here, she would say that. Oh, Alice. <sighs> I really miss her jokes and pranks. I know, right? She always has something to say and knows how to make everyone laugh. I miss everybody, even Alex and his practicing voice. <laughs> but it was so terrible that her eardrums nearly exploded. I know, but I'm used to living like that. By the way, how are things between you and Alex? We had a long conversation. He said it wasn't entirely my fault. He said he was too focused on work and ignored Jesse's feelings and needs. Meanwhile, I was always there for her instead of him. I guess it's for the best. Anyway, it's quite late. I should get going. Oh, I'm going to see a movie with Jesse tonight. Do you want to come with us? No, thank you. I have some stuff to do. Oh, just come. This movie was just released. I really want to, but I can't. I already have other plans. Okay, then. See you around. Bye, Anne. Goodbye, Jack. Jesse, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, go ahead. I'm done with my work. Tell me what's on your mind. I'm listening. I'm sure you've thought it through. I really have. I did neglect you, Jesse. And I'm incredibly sorry for that. I fully understand if you don't want to come with me. Don't worry about me, Alex. Just... Focus on your upcoming musical performance. Life in Japan will be great. I just can't imagine life without you, Jesse. Oh, it's going to be fine. Your voice is amazing, and this move will be really beneficial for your career. I believe in you, Alex. Thank you. Well, I just want you to know that this really is not an easy decision for me to make. But I'm sure that it's right for your career, and I can't be the one holding you back right now. I'm going to become famous and earn so much money that I can buy my own airplane and fly you out every weekend. That's going to take a lot of gas. Well, I'll be rich by then. Who cares how much it costs? Okay, I'll wait until you're rich. But in the meantime, I will still visit you, maybe together with Anne. I am sure you'll have already forgotten about me by the time you're famous, though. How can I, Jesse? I'll never forget you. Oh, can I ask something of you? What is it? Can I have the pictures we took together in Japan last time? I want to hang them on the walls when I arrive at my place in Japan. Every time I feel like I'm missing you, I'll look at them. They'll help me a lot, especially in the beginning. Sure, take them. I'm very glad that you still think so highly of me. Of course. Do your best, Alex. I will miss you. I'll miss you too. See you, Jesse. I'm going to pack my bags now. One month later. Oh my god, what a mess. I need to get this house cleaned up. What's this? A letter? From Jesse? What's going on? Dear Anne, I am writing this letter to tell you that I have moved to another city. 
There is an open position at another location of the gallery I am working for. And I have agreed to move there. I'm really sorry that I didn't tell you this beforehand. Please forgive me. I realized that things between me and Jack were just temporary. I still miss Peter, and the memories I have with him very much. I need time and space to think. Again, I'm really sorry for this sudden news. Yours truly, Jesse. Hmm. I wonder what happened between her and Jack. Show me where the money is, or I'll kill you! Okay, okay. You can take whatever you want. I won't tell anyone. Please spare me! <laughs> what? Jack? What are you doing? Do you have a death wish? Get your hands off me! Whoa! Chill out, I'm just joking! What's wrong with you? You don't seem too happy. Yes. I'm really not happy right now. Don't mess with me! By the way, what happened between you and Jesse? Nothing. Nothing? Are you sure? I think you're hiding something. Can we please not talk about her right now? I'm really not in the mood for it. Hmm. Okay. So, what's up with the house, Jack? What about it? I think it's perfectly fine the way it is. Fine? How is this fine? I can hardly find a space to stand. Your clothes are everywhere. And it smells so bad! Ugh! What is that smell? Did you not bring out the trash? Okay, okay. I was a bit lazy when you were gone, okay? We can clean it together now, right? Don't be so mad! Whatever, Jack. Alright, let's start cleaning the living room first. Then we can move on to the kitchen. How about you clean up this mess yourself? It is your fault, after all. Oh, come on! I know you adore me. Please give me a hand. Pretty please. Ugh, fine. One last time, you got it? Yes, ma'am. You are the best. Alice, you little rascal. When are you coming back? Why? You miss me, right? I know it. Anyway, I'm coming back tonight, actually. And I have a big surprise for everyone. What surprise, Alice? Why didn't you say anything about it? I haven't prepared anything. No need to prepare anything. You will see. Just wait. Don't be so impatient. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? You are being overdramatic, Anne. You will love this surprise. See you later. See you, Alice. Ugh, all that cleaning for what? Nothing. Why so? Alice is coming back. She's going to trash the house anyway. <laughs> she's not that bad. Well, you're right. Anyway, she also said she was bringing home a surprise. What surprise? Who knows? Would it be a surprise if I already knew? Okay, we can wait for it then. Hi everyone! Alice, so this is the surprise you told me about? Who is he? Yes, isn't he great? Come, I will introduce him to you. Edward, say hello to Anne. Anne, this is Edward. He's going to stay here with us from now on. What? Uh, oh, I meant, uh, nice to meet you. How do you know our lovely Alice? Nice to meet you too. I met her in Italy, and we have been friends ever since. She also told me a lot about you. <laughs> really? 
That's nice of you, Alice. So, where are you from, Edward? I'm from Canada. Cool. What about your job? Oh, I'm a director, just like Alice's dad. I see. Well, make yourself at home, Edward. Do you mind if I have a word with Alice privately? Oh, no problem. Alice, you didn't tell me that he was going to move in here. Oh, I knew you wouldn't have any problems with it. Besides, he is such a great person. You'll love him when you get to know him better. But still... Still what? I knew you wouldn't refuse anyway. We have enough space in the house, don't we? We do. But you still should have asked Jack and me before bringing someone new home, Alice. Alright, I know. I'm sorry, alright? I'll remember to do it next time. There's going to be a next time? You never know! What are you doing, Edward? What? Are you filming me? Yes. Now smile. Smile for the camera, Anne. Would you please stop that? I didn't agree to this. You are invading my personal space. You are doing so great, Anne. You can actually be an actress with that expression. Just stop. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Come over here now! What's up, sis? Why so noisy? Can you please tell your friend to stop filming me? I'm getting really annoyed. Oh, come on. He just loves his job so much. Don't you, Edward? Besides, you look great, Anne. Alice, I need you to tell him to stop. All right, Mr. Director. You can stop working now and take a break. You don't want to mess with Anne. Okay. Alice, come see this. This is really great, Anne. What if this footage gets aired on television and you become famous? Don't you forget me then. I can be your personal assistant if you want. Looking like that? I don't think so, Alice. Edward... Please don't do something like that again. I will not condone that behavior in this household. Come try this dish that I made. I'm not sure if it's good or not. Let me see. Ooh, I think it's quite good. Come on, Dad, don't lie. It can't be good with that look on your face. It's good for your first time. Thank you, anyway. What about you, Mom? What do you think of the dish? If I were you, honey, I would add another pinch of salt to it. It's a little bit bland. I got it, Mom. Anything else? No, it really isn't bad for your first time. Great job, honey. Thank you. Uh, by the way, Dad, if I were you, I would give my honest thoughts. What? I really think it's not bad. Maybe a little bad. Sure, Dad. Whatever you say. Oh, sweetheart. I'll eat anything you cook. You know that. Thank you for saying that, Dad. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. David, not to ruin your meal, but I wouldn't forget to email my boss if I were you're in your position. Oh, yes, I almost did forget. Thank God you reminded me. 
I'll do that after dinner. Hey, Michael. Looking good today. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. I can't say that about you, though. What happened? Oh, I'm just tired. Haven't had a good sleep since forever. If I were you, I wouldn't stay up so late. You need to sleep in order to have good skin and let your muscles rest. I know, but I have so much work to do. I hate being an accountant. That's why I want to become an artist. Not only because it's my passion, but I can also work whenever I want. You want to become an artist? That's so cool! What do your parents think about it? I haven't told them yet. I'm not sure if they would support me or not. Why not? If I were you, I would be honest with them. Tell them why you want to become an artist and let them know how happy it would make you. I think all parents want their kids to be happy. You're right. I'm thinking of telling them this weekend. But I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. Just do it! Get it out of the way, Michael. I'm sure you'll be a great artist. Thank you so much, Lauren. I appreciate it. Oh my god! Mark! Mark! Come here! What's wrong, darling? I think I'm pregnant. Oh my god! This is the best news ever! You are going to be an amazing mom, Linda. And you are going to be an amazing dad. I'm so happy! Have you told your parents or my parents yet? No, I haven't. I told you as soon as I found out. Let's call them. If they knew, they would be so surprised and happy. I agree. But should we tell them in person instead of calling them? I think that would be even more special. Sure, honey. We can wait and do that later if you want. Yes, I still can't believe it. Me neither. How do you feel? Well, I don't feel any different with my body than before because it hasn't been very long. But I do feel very excited. Me too. We should go see a doctor soon. I'll make an appointment. Good idea. This stupid laptop. What's wrong with it? I can't open any files. Ugh! What's wrong, Mary? Why are you yelling? My laptop. It isn't working and I have a very important task to do today. Let me see if I can help. Hmm, I think this issue is serious. You should probably get it fixed professionally. I don't have time for that. If Jack were here, he would know how to fix it. Oh, Mary. You guys broke up a while ago. Are you still not over him? Not really. I still miss him a lot. It's alright. Take your time. You know what? You can use my laptop for now and go get your laptop fixed later. Thank you so much, Lisa. Oh, you are a lifesaver. You're welcome. Now get that task done, girl. I'm on it. Are you sure you don't need to use it? Not until next week. Okay. Can I help? Yes, please. Set the table, dear. Set the table? I'll help you. That's a good boy. The plates? Is your boyfriend Harry eating with us? And no, Harry is in Oxford. Harry's bank has an office in Oxford. Oh. The knives and forks? Knife, fork, and spoon. Is the table set? 
Yes, Layla. Good. Sit down, please. Dinner is ready. Are we having dinner now? Of course, dear. What are we having? We are having soup and salad. Do you like chicken soup, Rose? Yes, thank you. Oh, please put the napkins on the table, Liam. Sorry, here they are. My silly Liam, he forgets everything. Everything. Here is your soup. Help yourselves to the bread. Thank you, Layla. You're welcome, my dear. It's so nice to have you here. Yes, it's nice to have you here. Thank you. That's very kind. Nonsense. Now let's eat. How's your soup? It's delicious. What's wrong, dear? Don't you like it? Well, you don't feel well. No, I'm sorry. It's a bit early for me. I'm not really hungry. Not hungry. What time does your family eat dinner back in Spain? We eat dinner at ten o'clock at home. Wow! Imagine that. We're usually in bed before midnight. Well, it's all a bit strange for me now. My poor dear, you must be exhausted. Maybe you should go to bed soon, Rose. Yes, please. I'm sorry. No, don't worry. You go back in and sleep. Would you like a drink, sir? Yes, Diet Coke, please. Ice and lemon. Just lemon. Here you are. Thank you. Coffee, tea. Coffee, please. Milk. Yes, please. Sugar. No, thanks. Here you are. Thanks. Hello. Are you Jane Ryder? Yes. Are you Layla? Yes, I am. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the UK. Your hotel's in the city center. How far is it? It's about thirty minutes if the traffic's okay. Great. Would you like a coffee first? No, I'm fine, thanks. All right, let's go. My car is in the car park. Can I help you with your bags? No, it's okay, thanks. Good evening, sir. Hello. I have a reservation. My name is Jane Ryder. Can you spell that, please? J A N E. For five nights. Yes, that's right. Can I have your passport, please? Just a moment. Here you are. Can you sign here, please? Do you want a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Here's your key. It's room two hundred and forty-five on the fourth floor. Thank you. Where's the lift? It's over there. Do you need help with your bags? No, it's okay. Thanks. Enjoy your stay, Mr. Ryder. Thank you. Where are you from in the United States, Jane? The West Coast, San Francisco. Is it nice? Oh yeah, it's a great city. Are you from London? 
No, I'm from Cambridge. My family lived there, but I live here in London. Sorry. Hello, darling. How are you?、Uh, I'm fine. Yeah, don't worry. Fine, fine. That's great. Bye, darling. I love you. Sorry. That's okay. Your wife? No, no, my daughter. She always phones me when I'm traveling. How old is she? She's nine. She lives with her mother in Los Angeles. We're divorced. Are you married? No, I'm not. How old are you? That's very personal. What do you think? Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Thanks. I'm twenty-seven. How old are you? I'm thirty-four. Would you like another drink? No, thanks. I have to go now, Jane. Our first meeting's at ten o'clock. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Layla. Good night. Good night. Can I help you? What would you like? A cappuccino, please. Regular or large? Large, please. And can I have an espresso, please? To have here or take away? To have here. Anything else? No, thanks. A brownie for me, please. Okay. How much is that? Together or separate? Together. That's six forty-five, please. Sorry, how much? Six dollars and forty-five cents. Oh. Thank you. Thanks, Jane. You're welcome. Look, there's a free table over there. There you are. Oh, I'm really sorry. Don't worry, it's always the same. When I wear white, something like this always happens. Look, first I'll get you another coffee, and then we can go shopping. Shopping? Yeah, I want to buy you a new shirt. You can't go to a meeting like that. But we don't have time. The next meeting is at twelve thirty. You have time. It's only eleven o'clock. Are you sure? Yes. Sit down and relax. Let's have coffee and then go. Well, okay. Long time no see. How are you doing? I'm feeling great and miss you so much. That's why I'm coming over. Yeah, I miss you too. It's been a month since we last met each other. Well, what are you waiting for? Come on in. Mom, this is my friend Emma. Good morning, Mrs. Smith. It's a pleasure to meet you. You're welcome, darling. Please make yourself at home. Can we have her for lunch, Mom? It's been a while since we haven't talked to each other. Sure, it will be lovely to have a guest in our family today. Emma, shall we go upstairs to my room? Great. Your room looks amazing. Thanks. I have recently decorated it with some pictures I've taken for the last year. I'm so glad you like it. Look, that's us at Nick's birthday party last year. We had a great time back then, right, Layla? Yeah, those were such great memories. This is so beautiful. Where were you? Oh, this was our summer holiday to Italy earlier this summer. 
Italy. I've always dreamed of visiting Italy. I took this picture while our family was drifting on a canal in Venice. The scenery was spectacular. We got a chance to enjoy the beauty of this city as well as time to relax. How about this one? That's when we were at the Colosseum. My father is a big fan of this place, so he insisted on getting there. I guess you had a really good time in Italy. Yeah, it was unforgettable. What's that amazing smell? I think my mom's cooking in the kitchen. Let's go downstairs and see what she's doing. Do you need a hand, Mrs. Smith? Oh, aren't you girls chatting in Layla's room? We'd love to help you with some cooking. What are we having today? I'm going to make seafood pizzas with some salad. We're having a pizza day? That's amazing! Do you like pizza, Emma? Of course, pizza is one of my favorites, but I don't have them often. Then, lucky for you today, my mother is the best pizza maker in the world. You don't need to say that, Layla. I'm not kidding, Mom. You're the best. Do you need our help with anything? Sure, you can get the pizza dough in the fridge and... Need it for me. Do you want to try it? I'd love to. I've never made a pizza from scratch before. Okay then, follow my instructions. First, you turn the dough into a ball. After that, you use your hand to stretch it out. Next, you repeat this process for 15 minutes. This is going to be a challenge, isn't it? We can take turns if you want to. 15 minutes later. We're done, Mom. What should we do next? You girls should let it rest for 10 minutes before rolling it out. Are you making the topping? Yes, here we have some shrimps and baby squids. Now I'm going to stir fry them before we put them on the dough. Where's the sauce, Mom? It's in the pot right over there. The scent is wonderful. What are the ingredients for this tomato sauce? It's the family secret! Oh! Nah, I'm kidding. Actually, I have no idea what's in the sauce. My mom always keeps the recipe a secret from the whole family. She said she learned it from an Italian chef, but I doubt it. What are you girls whispering about? Nothing, Mom. Can you lay the table? Dad's coming home soon. Sure, Mom. Emma, let's go to the dining room. No, Layla, we're eating outside today. Okay, Mom. Your backyard is so spacious. This is the first time I've been in this area of your house. Well, I should have introduced this to you earlier. I can take you for a tour after we finish our lunch. Hi 
Dad. Good morning, Mr. Smith. I'm Emma, Layla's friend. It's nice to meet you, Emma. I heard that you're going to have lunch with us today. It's our pleasure. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Layla, can you bring the dishes outside for me, please? Yes, Mom. Emma, can you help me place the knives and forks on the table? Sure. You go ahead and help your mother. Five minutes later. Okay, everyone. Please, find your seat at the table. Will you sit next to me, Emma? Of course. Emma, honey, have a slice of pizza. I hope you'll enjoy it. Wow, this is the best pizza I've ever had. You're truly the best pizza maker, Mrs. Smith. Thanks, dear, a lot. I'm happy you enjoy our food. Emma, try this chicken salad my mom made. It's also delicious. Sure, but I need to finish my pizza first. I wish every day could be like this. Like what, sweetie? Having lunch with my best friend and eat pizza all day. You really like pizza, don't you, Layla? Of course. I can have pizza all day without getting tired of it. So, what have you been doing this summer, Emma? I'm just staying at home, reading some books, and helping my mother with household chores. And I'm planning to take part in the art club next week. Is it at the end of Hill Street? We'd like Layla to join that club, but she doesn't appear to be interested in it. I don't know how to draw, Dad! A small music club is also in the building. And I know singing is perfect for you, Layla. Really? So, can I come with you? Of course. Great! Okay, girls, it's time we clear the table. Can we talk about it? Yes, but after we help your mother do the dishes first... Alright! He's out to lunch. Hi, doctor. Laura, I'm going out to lunch now. What time will you be back? I'll be back around one o'clock. Dr. Robert's office? No, he's not in. He's gone out for lunch and he'll be back at one o'clock. Goodbye. Hi, Laura. Hi, Dr. William. Is Robert in? No, he's going out for lunch. Oh, what time will he be back? One o'clock. Thank you. Bye. Dr. Robert's office? No, I'm sorry. He's out for lunch. Can I take a message? Call James. Okay, I'll give him the message. You're welcome. Bye. Layla? Yes, Laura? I'm going out for lunch. Can you answer the phone? Sure. What time will you be back? One thirty. One thirty? Right, and Dr. Robert is out to lunch, and he'll be back at one o'clock. Okay, well, have a nice lunch. Thanks. <coughs> Dr. 
Dr. Robert's office. No, I'm sorry. He's out to lunch. He'll be back at 1.30. No, no, no. One o'clock. Yes, I can take a message. Your name? John. And your phone number? 543-9876. Okay, just one second, please. Hold on. Hello? Hello? Oh, no. 543-9786? And no, five four three nine six eight seven. No, no, no. Doctor Roberts' office. No, Laura is out for lunch. She'll be back at one o'clock. You're welcome. Bye. Doctor Roberts' office. I'm sorry. Doctor Robert is out for lunch. He'll be back at um. Do you want to leave a message? Okay, call Dr. Brian at 3 o'clock. Okay, thank you. I'll give him the message. You're welcome. Bye. Hello, Dr. Robert's office. Hello, Dr. Robert's office. Unit 2, I have to go shopping. Hi, Layla. This is Daniel. Hi, how are you? Fine, Layla. Can you go to a movie with me on Friday? On Friday? Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't. I have to go visit a friend in the hospital. Okay, next time then. Sure, Daniel. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hello, Adela. Yes? This is Daniel. Oh, hi, Daniel. How are you? Oh, I'm just fine. Adela, can you go dancing with me on Friday night? Oh, Daniel, I'm sorry, but I have to go shopping with my mom Friday night. Really? That is too bad. Yeah, I'm really sorry. No problem. I'll talk to you later, Daniel. Bye. Hello? Hello, may I speak to Finn, please? Uh, just a minute, please. Finn? Yeah, Mom? Hello? Hey, Finn, it's Daniel. Oh, hi, Daniel. What are you doing? Well, I'm calling to see if you can go bowling with me on Friday night. I'm sorry, I can't. I'll have to go shopping with Adela on Friday night. Shopping with Adela? Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, that's okay. Bye, Finn. Bye-bye. Hello, Helen. Oh, I'm so busy. I have to go to the supermarket. I have to go to the bank, I have to clean the house, I have to wash my clothes, and I have to cut the grass, and I have to cook dinner. Me too. I have to go to the beauty shop, I have to go to the hospital to visit a friend, I have to go to the dentist, I have to visit my mother. I'm busy too. Well, talk to you later. Bye! Unit, why are you late? Are you ready to order? Not yet. I'm waiting for a friend. Would you like something to drink? Yes, I would like another glass of wine, please. Certainly, sir. Um, waiter? Yes, sir. Where's the phone? It's over there, sir. Thank you. Good evening, ma'am. Hello. Table for one? No, for two. I'm meeting a friend. This way, please. Okay. Are 
you ready to order now, sir? Uh, no, I'm still waiting for a friend. Yes, sir. Oh, waiter. Yes, sir. Where's the men's room? It's over here, sir. Oh, thank you. Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. Where's the ladies' room? It's right over there, ma'am. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Zelina! Daniel! You're late. I'm late? No, you're late. No, I've been here for an hour. You're late. For an hour? Oh, I'm late. Oh, I'm sorry. Why were you late? I had to work overtime. That's okay. Are you hungry? Yes, I'm very hungry. Let's eat. Okay. You're late. I know, I know. Why are you late? My car broke down. Your car broke down? Yeah, so I took the train. You took the train, so why are you late? I missed the train. How did you miss the train? Well, I had to go to the dentist. To the dentist? Yeah, my tooth hurt. So, how did you get here? I came by taxi. By taxi? How are we going to get the money home? We can take another taxi. Taxi? Are you crazy? I'm not crazy. How did you get here? I took the bus. We can just take another bus home. A bus? Are you crazy? I'm not crazy. Stop. This is the police. Oh no, not again.